Hello, boys and girls, my name is Otosti, and once again it is time for another day in Minecraft. Standing in the shadow of the recently completed 2x2 Universal Tree Farm, I am contemplating how to terraform the area below the farm. I am thinking of a big cave through which the river flows. For that I envision dripstone blocks and other materials added in 1.17. This means we need a few more farms. Today we turn it around however and create the building first and the farms second. For that I want to continue the theme of the oil related buildings by adding an oil refinery and all industrial buildings and then also add the road network. If there is then still some more time, we can do some of the actual farms. Let's start by clearing out some trees and properly fence off the unloading area. Instead of another time lapse, let's make a big bang reveal and then I will show you the details. I admit that looking at this build might not be much resemblance to an oil refinery. Its main characteristics are a lot of pipes and tanks, which is quite hard to build in Minecraft at this scale. The main features certainly are the walkways all around the building on two levels connected with various stairs, complete with railing for added security. The next prominent thing are the stone balls in various materials making up the various pipes. In the back there are a whole array of smokestacks with braces holding them up and actual smoke coming out at the top. Toward the front there are air vents letting out hot steam recreated with some cobwebs. The inside of course is still empty. In between all the farm buildings over on this side I left space for roads. However I did not yet consider how to connect this side with the other one, beside from the obvious answer, bridge. Therefore I spent quite a bit of time in creative uh, figuring this out. That is also why I have to tell you now that I misled you at the beginning of this episode. I will build up the bridge but will not make it to the other roads or even any farms. I experimented quite a bit with the shape of the road as it has to go up a few blocks, crossing the river or inlet or fjord and then also move over a few more blocks. I could not come up with something that looked good enough so that it did not hurt the eye when looking at it. Therefore I decided to have a straight bridge over the water and then a ramp on this side to make up the height difference. This still leaves a few curves but the end result will be the better for it. The foundation and girdle structure underneath I'm particularly happy about as this is something that came out exactly as I envisioned it. Up until the nether update there was not many choices when it came to road surfaces. This changed with the introduction of blackstone and basalt. When we got the deep slate with the caves and cliffs update, there were even more options. Unfortunately, the blackstone black and the deep slate clash horribly, so you have to decide for one of the two. I decided here on the deep slate, as the slabs have a bit more visual detail and I needed them for the ramps and they combine battle with the basalt blocks and the grey concrete powder that make up the tarmac. The bridge is two lanes wide and the basalt pillars marking out a bit the tire tracks of the heavy oil tankers moving along. On the side of the refinery there is an on-ramp with a tight turn at the top 
and the road splits at the other side. The streets between the buildings will be one-way streets. To finish the bridge off, I added some light posts and some railing, so no one falls into the river down below. I hope you enjoyed this episode and will join me for another day in Minecraft to continue on with the roads and then some farms. Goodbye!